What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, I have some good news for you today. I know I did it this week in Warframe yesterday when there was nothing really to report on, but yes, yeah, some things have been announced, and I actually remembered something that's supposed to happen this week in Warframe as well. So, view this as a news video and a PSA on the double resource event coming back for 24 more hours. Yes, it's happening. Okay, so we're going to go over the official dev announcement on the uh, makeup, I guess I'd call it double resource event due to some server instability during TennoCon, and we're also going to talk about the Super Borrow, uh, which is going to be coming out on uh, I think all platforms, which would be like a, basically a triple size borrow to catch everybody up for crossplay uh, in the future. Before we get into it, though, make sure you're subbed to the channel. Let me check the live stream channel as well. We've been doing lots of Warframe live streams, played some Power Wash Simulator last night, and uh, yeah, man, those. They make you do some filthy stuff in that game. Uh, there's some really dirty backyards cleaning up some backyards. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. What is going on? Like, what is this double resource event coming back? Like, how is it coming back already? Um, it's kind of like a, we're getting it back on a technicality this time. Like, the first time it was like, yo, um, okay, you 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 figured out that we edited the, the web page without telling you guys, and it was a little bit shady, so we're going to give it to you uh, just because we don't want to look bad. Now this is like... Their servers were broken while the event booster was active, so now they're giving us another uh, day of an event booster because of how bad their servers were the day of TennoCon. So let's get into it. Their official uh, dev post right here. We've got a high-ranking community manager, um, but let's just give some context on why this is happening real quick before we go over the, the response. So uh, we had the double resource weekend that was active during uh, TennoCon, so there were some server uh, stability problems. So during that uh, event booster, you could not sign. Some people couldn't sign into the game, and it's like, why would I? It's a waste of time because the boosters click, uh, tick down while you're offline in this game, and it was also a resource booster a weekend that was planned. So there was no way you could get you could just get it back because like if you didn't know this, I, I say this all the time to remind people that if you haven't been playing since like before March of 2020, you might have absolutely no idea what we're talking about here. A event resource booster in this game will stack on top of a store-bought resource booster and give you four times resources. So normally, buying a store-bought resource booster, let's, you pick, let's say you pick up one Oricon cell with no booster. That's one Oricon cell. With the store-bought booster, if you had that active, that'd be two, two Oricon cells from that same pickup. And then if you had a event booster going, which never, ever happens, but it's going to be happening this Friday, you would pick up four Oricon cells from one pickup. And then speed of that can make that 8, 16, even more than that. Okay, so that's the general gist of it, and it is, which is why this is so powerful, is because it is a four times booster if you spend some plan. So just going back to what we what the announcement was, though, there were some problems on the day of the boosters that were originally stated. So that's like about like a 10, 12 hour period, I'd say. You couldn't play the game really. Here's what they're doing to compensate for it. There is going to be a new double resource event, I'd call it, but it's not going to be a weekend. It's going to be 24 hours. So there's a 24-hour period of this event booster being brought back. So if you are farming during Friday, July 29th at 9 a.m. ET or or an ending on Saturday, July 30th at 9 a.m. ET, I would recommend a couple things to you. And uh, I have videos, five farming guides over most of this stuff. But what you're going to want to really do is you're going to go and buy that store-bought orange resource booster. That during that week, that 24-hour period, you will be getting a lot. I'm going to go back and I'm going to be going back to Gremlin mode and doing some arbitrations, maybe some steel essence. I'll have to get some maybe like Requiem Kuva survival stuff in there too. Um, but during that time, make sure you are like watch my farming guys. You want to know how to do it. Uh, efficiently, but make sure you have that resource booster going. Maybe even if you don't have a Smita Kavat, maybe make sure you get a Smita Kavat if you don't have one of those already. Now keep in mind, there's certain things that this resource booster won't apply to. For example, Endo is not considered a resource. Endo is considered a mod. So if you are trying to get uh, more Endo during this time, you're not going to be able to do that. Um, this mod drop booster is a way to do it. Um, other things like Arcanes are not affected by this. Void Pinions from Angels and all that are not affected by this. Um, lots of things are not affected by this that you would think might work, but they're not. Um, so this is the one you want to buy. So you can just buy this for like three days for 40 plat. You'll have four times resources during uh, Friday to Saturday. And I don't know what time zone it's going to be for you guys. So 9 a.m. ET is the same time zone that I have. So if you are, you know, want to make sure you don't miss this, just do like a time zone converter on their post. Okay. Um, additionally, you can do the steel path, which has an increased resource drop chance which is, you know, some resources aren't guaranteed to drop, like Oricon sells my example earlier. 
Um, so this will help you get the more rare ones uh, easily. And then like some of the best nodes, we've already, I've already made videos on it, so go check those out. Um, but yeah, another thing. So now that we've gone over the double resource day, yes, it's, it is happening. And maybe I'll do big HUD if we get a, a bit goal again for that. Um, against my better judgment. <laughs> um, so additionally, Super Borrow is supposed to be coming out pretty soon here. I, I think Tenocon Borrow just left like a couple days ago, but we're supposed to be getting a big, big borrow where, um, so crossplay is supposed to happen like next couple of months, I'm guessing. Um, they're gonna be doing server stress tests and all that, but Borrow Katir, like the rotation of what rewards Borrow Katir has, has always been off between uh, console and PC. So for example, if I am on, let's say I'm on PC and it's like, okay, the new item he brought, he brought Prime Animal Instinct for the first time ever today. Like, oh boy. Console would not get that Prime Animal Instinct for the first time ever for like another two or three weeks. So what's happening is preparing for crossplay. they are bringing a super borrow to get everyone back up to speed rotation wise. After that's gone, borrow will have the same stock on all platforms going forward. Now I'm probably not gonna make borrow videos going forward because Borrow spawns really early in the morning, but hey, if, if I can wake up on time, maybe I'll start making Borrow videos again. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the news. Um, now, I actually don't, they haven't like formally announced that Borrow's happening this week, but I, I believe it is supposed to happen. Like the next Borrow after Tenocon, uh, the real Borrow, like not the Tenocon Borrow, should be the, the big catch-up one. So keep an eye out on that. Um, you probably, if, if you already bought the Borrow ticket and got a bunch of stuff from him, you probably don't even need to see Borrow again, but he should have a new item too, because Borrow Katir on PC is supposed to have a new item every single visit, like a brand new item. Like, it's usually a terrible shift decoration, like half the stuff in here, but um, yeah, he's supposed to have a new item, maybe a new Prime mod, and yeah, we're getting about three weeks of rewards all at the same time. So yeah, okay, so, so now that we've gone over that, just a couple little quick little farming tip things before we call it here. Um, I will be posting the ogre, the not the ogress, the arbitration video in the description down below. If you have a Kuva ogress, you're gonna have a 24 hour period to uh, farm some Vitus before uh, that's probably gone forever. I'm gonna recommend a Tox Elemental uh, for all around gameplay, and it's also very good in Arby's. Um, but I've got a Radiation and a Heat one too, which they're all good. Um, all, additionally, this might be too late to, to, to do this now, but don't be like me. If you have some invigorations sitting around that are good for arbitration frames or frames you like to play, hold on to these until uh, until like the day before Friday. Actually, you can just use them right now because they last for a week, but you're going to want some, some in increased power buffs for the arbitrations and all that to get nuking even harder, killing RB drones as fast as possible, and getting big, big Kuva because you didn't have enough Kuva from the last weekend, huh? Um, I'm probably going to try to get like another million Kuva during this time. I am going to really, really know life this 24-hour farming session. Um, so we'll see. I, I have some I have some like manual labor to do on Saturday. So we'll see uh, how that goes. Uh, and so, so I'll probably be streaming all night and all day on, the, on Friday. By the way, make sure you check that out if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace.